Welcome and, and a huge welcome to Max and Kerry and Lizzie, who will be asking me a range of questions about life at LWC. So without further ado, folks, away we go. So, sir, sell us your school in 20 seconds. Okay, uh, 1,200 acres of glorious Hampshire countryside, uh, 45 minutes from Heathrow, an hour from central London, 150 acres of woodland, 800 acres of farmland, miles of big skies, sunrises and sunsets, nearly 700 co-educational pupils, um, great pupils and wonderful staff with brilliant results, award-winning pastoral care, the sport is seriously outstanding, the girls and the boys, brilliant facilities with more to come, 101 years old, two and a half thousand foundation children since we started, and national recognition for parental engagement. If you could change one thing about your school, what would it be? So I would increase the width of the country lanes. Um, they are pretty small, they're beautiful and gorgeous hedgerows, but for the size of the modern car, it's a little bit tight. What do your pupils think of you and do you care? Uh, I mean, gosh, yes, they definitely care. Um, they laugh at my jokes, um, and I think they're laughing with me, not at me, fingers crossed. Um, when I am coaching cricket, um, they tend to pitch the ball up, not with bounces at my head or beamers. I think that's a good sign. Um, and I love the fact that nearly 30 years of teaching now, pupils keep in touch for many, many years after they've let, quite often for job ideas and thoughts or to pick my brains. I've even employed a couple of pupils, former pupils, over the years, which is just brilliant. What keeps you awake at night? So the owls, um, for sure, and, and the Chinooks. Um, but I think more, more broadly than that, it's when people are unkind to each other and that's going on in a school. It doesn't happen very often here, but when it does, I, I don't mind that very much. And I also, I, I think society is too quick to judge these days. It's very judgmental. And I would love to get to a point where we're just seeing that just relax in, in society. Yeah, don't like it very much at all. What is your greatest extravagance? So my greatest extravagance, two things, uh, golf club memberships, I just adore golf. And secondly, holidays, whether within the UK or abroad. Um, I love being in places where others are not. And that's to experience the wildness, the emptiness, the wilderness. They're just brilliant places to be in. After we finish this interview, we need to talk about all these cool places that you have to go and visit. Who's your hero? My hero. Uh, I've got two heroes, actually. Bill Bryson, just amazing. I love reading his books and the way he tells stories. Uh, and secondly, my grandpa in Australia, uh, an Anzac, a comedian, a writer, himself a published author, a fabulous tennis player. Um, he looked exactly like Alan Wicker. Um, for those of you who know who Alan Wicker is, in fact, oddly, my other grandpa also looked like Alan Wicker, uh, which is really strange. Um, and both rocked a parting and loved Brill Cream. 1930s, eat your heart out. What's your favourite joke? Uh, three of them I think I've got. Uh, crime in multi-storey car parks. That's just like wrong on so many levels. Um, what's the difference between unlawful and illegal? Unlawful is against the law. Illegal is a sick bird. And um, I decided to sell my Hoover. Well, it was just collecting dust. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> what should go to karaoke show? So, um, well, I sung one actually in the um, Mars Singer at LWC. Um, it is "You Make Me Feel So Young." Frank Sinatra. He did a better job. Uh, and the next one is Hi Ho Silver Lining, performed in 1967. But you need help with that. You don't go it alone, but it is great value. If you could get away with one crime, what would it be? I would turbocharge my trainers. Um, so when I'm in competing in speed golf events, um, I'm just quite slow these days. And when you're competing nationally or internationally, they're all 30, 20 years younger than me. So I need speed. Um, Keanu Reeves needed the same, um, as did Tom Cruise, but I feel the need, the need for speed. What's the phrase or word you ever use the most? I, it would be my Aussie heritage would mean no worries, uh, pops up quite a lot, and radical optimism. Um, oh, you're laughing, so that means that's probably true. Okay, fine. Um, however, a word I 
really don't like hearing very much is busy. I just don't think it's very helpful. Sets the wrong mindset. Um, so two are like, one I don't. Which superpower would you most like to have and why? Have you seen Harry Potter? Yes. So Hermione Granger has got one of those like time turners. Uh, I would love to have that. One of the, I, I need to be in more than two places at once, ideally. Um, and that's one of the, one of the joys actually um, of being ahead is that you get a chance to see what everybody's doing and you want to get out and see them and, and just, that's amazing. But it's so difficult to do so um, all the time. So a time turner means that I can begin to address that. Although actually, that might help my speed golf as well. It's a bucket of idea. So, so we could do that too. When you leave the school, what will your legacy be? Um, so I'm not really into legacies, actually, because that's all about a person and, and it's, not, it's not about an individual. But Maya Angelou said, you know, it's not about what you did. It's not about what you said. It's always about how you made people feel. And I think that's hugely important. Um, and if I've played any part in LWC's progression, it's hopefully to create and be part of a team that's created a school where people absolutely love being here. They're passionate about school. They're really proud of their school and they want to come back year after year after year um, to enjoy the joys of LWC. Well, thank you for talking with us today, sir. Thank you to and back to you in the studio. Thank you.